So this morning, I'm going to, I've got a couple of people I'm going to ask a question of this morning. Some of them have been told they're getting asked a question. Some people haven't. Right, I'm going to start with Andrea, because she happens to be beside me. Right, and Andrea, what do you think God looks like? Oh, oh my goodness. Well, I think God looks like... I always get the impression he's got a huge, great big face and he's got a very kind looking face. That's there, what I think. There we go. Right. Callum, what do you think God looks like? <clears throat> oh, an old man with a big white beard and big white hair. Mm. So <laughs> Callum thinks an old man with a big white beard and big white hair. <clears throat> John, what do you well, think? I agree with Callum. A big man. A kindly expression. There we go. John feels the same. A kindly expression, big man, white beard. Now, if Reverend Tom Logan was here, I was going to ask him. Maybe I should ask Robert. Reverend Robert, what do you think God looks like? I, I disagree with the previous contributor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Robert is disagreeing. God is spirit and nothing like anything under this earth. So, Robert doesn't think, Reverend Robert thinks God doesn't look like anything in this earth. Now, I will tell you, I remember. Some of you might think I'm too old to remember this. I remember my days in Sunday school. I'm going to show my age a little bit here because I remember the flannel graph. Does anybody remember a flannel graph board? Used to stick things to it, yes. And my image that I remember of God from that, and I don't know why I think of this, but I always think of God in a white flowing robe. He always had blonde hair. I don't know why, you know, the flannel graphs, God had blonde hair. He always had a big beard and he always looked like he was glowing. So that's what I think God probably looks like. That's my memory. I'm giving my age away here by talking about flannel graphs. But that's what I remember of God from Sunday school days. Now, I'm going to tell you a story. And this will maybe help us think about what God is really like. Now, there was a boy who was about the age of Ben. Ben, what age are you? Eight. And this wee boy decided he was going to go and see what God really looked like. He was determined to find out. Because he'd seen the pictures. And he wasn't certain. So he set himself out. So he thought it's going to be a bit of a long journey. I'd better pack a bag with some essentials in it. So Ben, what would you take in a bag if you were going on a long journey? What food would you take? Pancakes. Pancakes, yes. Now, this wee boy took his pancakes. He took his favourite sweetie, which was a tube of Smarties. Anybody else here like a tube of Smarties? Yes, yeah, so well, there's a few tubes of Smarties liked out here. He took his favourite juice, a fruit shoot, and he thought it's going to be a long journey. I better take two fruit shoots. And he thought, I've got my pancakes, I've got my Smarties, I've got two fruit shoots. I'm going to take a packet of crisps as well. So he took his favourite flavour of crisps, put them all in his backpack, and he set off to walk. And he walked for what felt like miles. Ten minutes later, he arrived at the park. He thought he's been walking forever. I better stop and have a wee snack. Because you know what it's like when you're, when you're eight, you always need a wee snack. So he sat down on a bench beside an old lady. Now he wasn't to know that this old lady was feeling a bit fed up that day. She'd been out there with a rollator and she's thinking, I don't have anything left to do. Taking her all her time to walk to the park, she was feeling quite sad. The wee boy didn't realize that, so he just sat up and he thought, I'm going to open my packet of crisps. And he started eating them. And he smiled at the old lady beside him. And she smiled back. And he said, oh, do you want a crisp? So as the time went on, they shared their crisps. And then he thought, you know, I'm starting to feel thirsty. He's going to have no snack left by the time he gets to see God. But he opened up his first fruit shoot. And he thought, maybe I should ask the lady, did she want a juice? But he was too scared. So he just offered her the other juice. So there they've shared their crisps. Now they're sharing their juice. And he decides, well, you know, I'm going to have my sweeties now as well. Because you know what it's like when you're eight? You want everything. So he, he opened up his Smarties and he shared them with the old lady. And after that, he thought, you know, I'm quite tired. I think I'll go and see what God looks like another day. So off he went home, back to his mum. And the old lady thought, oh, it's a lovely wee morning. Off she went, roll later, pushed herself home, off she went. And the wee boy went home and he said to his mum, <clears throat> I've had a great day. 
them. I said, where were you? He says, I went off to see if I could find out what God looked like. And his mum's like that. <laughs> don't think so. He says, no. He says, I saw God. And she smiled at me. And her smile was beautiful. And the old lady with her rollator, she was heading back home. And she lived by herself. And she went back home and her neighbour came out and she went, oh, she says, look at you, you're looking so happy. She says, oh no, when I left the house this morning, I thought, what's the use in my life anymore? And she says, do you know something? I went to the park and I met God. His smile was amazing. He shared his picnic with me. But you know, he's much younger than I thought he would be. And what this story really means is we're, we're not going to see God in our lifetimes here on earth, but we're going to see God in other people. We're going to see God in the people who smile at you as you're going through a tough day. We're going to see God in the people who say, you know, maybe things haven't worked out right, but we're still here. We're going to see God in the people who care for us. We're going to see God in those who take time for us. We're going to see God in this world, if we look to see God in the smiles, in the fellowship, in the warmth, in the times of encouragement. Let's look out and see where we can see God this week and where we can show God's love this week too.